Well, here we are at Earth Fair, <clears throat> which uh, latest news, they're closing down. Let's see here, store closing. And uh, this is like February 2020. This news has been out for a little while. This Earth, particular Earth Fair is in Charleston, South Carolina, West Ashley. And I've uh, been here for a long time. Let's see that soon go. Uh, Earth Fair is a great store. I'm actually going to grab a buggy and check this thing out. Earth Fair was founded in 1975, basically in the Asheville, North Carolina area. Let's see, empty shelves and stuff highly marked down. I imagine 20% off. But uh, sad to see it go. You know, it's just a combination of things. And certainly pressure from Whole Foods. Earth Fair had 50 stores. Um, again, found in Asheville, North Carolina. You might imagine that a lot of those stores are across the southeast. Ooh, what do we got over here? Is it candy? You know, um, a lot of grocery items don't have a high amount of margin. Um, so 20% off is actually pretty good on a lot of this kind of stuff. What is this? Malty smooth drops that melt in your mouth. You know what? I think I'm going to try uh, both of these over here. Yeah. Some cool stuff to review. What else we got going on here? Some cordials. Coconut balls. Oh, I reviewed that stuff before. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. I don't know about that. But anyway, um, and they were down in Florida, they were in uh, South Carolina, Tennessee, in my home. Other, well, I'm in Charleston now, which is my hometown, and my other home in Johnson City. I had an Earth Fair, which I'm going to miss. It's uh, pretty, pretty bleak. Let's see what we got over here on the hot sauce side of things. Never seen that before. I come back and see once it gets a little bit closer to closing. Some of that, but wow. I mean, just I can imagine this was a really awesome, vibrant store that is now dead empty. Rumors in this particular location that a Trader Joe's might be coming in. But man, sad to see. This is in a really A really good neighborhood. I mean, this store was always busy and booming. I can't imagine they weren't making money, but obviously not doing well enough. Uh, so, it's what it is. And they had such a good meat department, too. I'll tell you what I really miss here is gosh, look at this, this pure empty. God, it's so crazy. This store was so vibrant. It's so just humming and pumping. Everything 20% off across the board. Mm -hmm. Too many carbs. Let's take a look at some of this chocolate.
excuse my horrible camera skills. That's an interesting looking flavor. I'm gonna start on February 26th. No sugar, no candy. And that's about a week away, so. Ooh, coconut toffee. All right, that's enough. I've reviewed that gum before, it's pretty good. That's more than enough sweets to get me to where I get through my uh, stuff. That's pretty good though, 20% off that. Still got a lot of chocolate. Left. And health bars that are loaded. Stuff you don't need. I was also hoping to find some tea. So comment down below, what do you think? Are you a fan of Earth Fair? I can tell you that I definitely was and shopped Earth Fair a couple times a month at least, if not every week. It was 30% off, some cool socks. Okay. Oh man, they really, this part of town too, like, this was one of the best. It's relatively inexpensive. It was a great place to meet people for a little quick lunch meetings or whatever. We still got some juice in here. Um, just awesome. Big salad bar, big hot bar, great pizza. Um, I didn't get over here when they first announced it. I really wanted to because they had some of the best like gluten-free, I don't really care about gluten-free, but this was gluten-free, like essentially vegan double stack cream puff cookies that were completely awesome. I already got one of those. Look at this honey over here. Get some honey. 18 bucks, not cheap. That is a big old jar of honey, but I don't really need it though. I'm about to honestly go no sugar, no carb, diet hardcore. I'm really gonna do it. So anyway, this is um, this is what's left of an Earth Fair. Okay. It's, it's sad, but it happens. Uh, I feel bad for everybody. Part of their organization, 50 stores. That's a lot of people that are no longer employed now, so this is never a good thing, but something will come in its place, perhaps a Trader Joe's, maybe a little, like an Aldi or something like that, I don't know if Aldi would even come into something like this without building their own store, they usually build like a standalone store, whatever, ice cream, Maybe I do need to get some ice cream if I'm really going to go on this diet. I'll try this dairy-free gelato. Love meat and chip. Let's give this a try. Okay, well, anyway, I'm pretty much at this point just stretching the video out to uh, 10 minutes. But, uh... Man, I wanted to try to get some herbal tea. I didn't want tea lately. Like cold tea, but whatever. This is what it is. It is done so. Let's, let's see what's down here. Yogurt cultures. I mean, they, they have a lot of great stuff, you know, but it is somewhat hard to find. I mean, yeah, Whole Foods checks that box, but. You know, maybe you're not a fan of Whole Foods. This is a really good alternative if you're here in the Southeast to Whole Foods. If you didn't like Whole Foods or whatever, didn't have one close by. It's a big neighborhood right around this place, too. It's a really busy shopping center, so I know a lot of people are going to miss it. But you know what? Honestly, too, though, within not more than like a mile or so from here, they opened up Whole Foods about a year ago. I'm sure that's happening in almost every market 
where uh, I'm sure that's happened on almost like every market where a Earth Fair was already at. I'm sure the people at Whole Foods zeroed right in on all that stuff because obviously that's probably a good place to put it. Uh, uh, Whole Foods is where these Earth Fairs are at. So anyway. Enough of it, comment down below. Uh, what do you think about Earth Fair? What do you think about Whole Foods? What do you think about big companies killing smaller brands like this, essentially? And uh, hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, why not? Most importantly, have a wonderful day. I'll catch you on the next video.